G'day, I'm Alistair Christie and I'm recording this for LearnDelphi.tv. Um, so this is our project from the last video uh, that we recorded on SQLite um, and I've been continuing to have a bit of a play around and um, looking at the visual live bindings which is very very cool. So we can go into the live binding designer there or I can press control dot or F6 um, and here we have the live binding designer. So what we're going to want to do is um, link up our ID and I'm just going to link, I've done a t-edit before but I can go link to new control and t-edit um, and that's created our bind scope DB and our binding list and delete that one and you also do it manually um, delete that and throw an edit on there we can go back to the live bindings and I can go name to uh, edit 2 um, oh, I notice it's also called this ID uh, edit field edit ID rather than edit 1 so it actually gives it a, 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 bit, a bit more uh, meaningful name which is quite nice um, so that's cool. Uh, what I can also do, you know, the D, remember the uh, DB grid didn't work very well because um, uh, SQLite is quite unusual in the database world in that um, all fields are basically um, blob fields. Um, uh, you can pretty much put any kind of data into any field um, that they're not typed or they're, they're very loosely typed. And that's about the limit of my knowledge of SQLite. Um, so string grid so we can bind that up uh, in fact I wonder if I can go link to new control t string grid, yes I can so I could do it that way or we will go from start to string grid and if we now run that we've now got our string grid. But notice that I can't edit if I click on oops. Plus I, I can't type anything in. Um, that is a property of the string grid. So if we go into the options uh, I can say allow column resizing and allow editing. And um, if you've watched my building uh, applications in Delphi ooh, part 2 I think I do string grid um, I can't remember now maybe it's even part 1 uh, <laughs> um, but anyhow um, I, I go over every single property of these, these properties in, in quite a lot of detail so now if we run this now that the editing is turned on I can add a new one uh, for and um, Nick, Nick Hodges. Um, so that's fairly straightforward, um, and we can continue to add more and more and more quite easily. Um, we can actually, but we we're not limited to binding the data fields. Uh, if I add a checkbox, and I'll just throw that up there. the caption active and I'll even call it CB active um, with our, our caption here I click on the little, little dots and grab the active property and hook that one up and now we have an active checkbox and I can close our client data set with just a simple click and you probably would have noticed that I haven't actually written any code whatsoever and we can uh, obviously clearly bind uh, heaps of other things um, but 
um, I think this is probably enough to demonstrate the power of the live binding designer um, and if I can get some of my uh, <laughs> applications ported to XE3 I will definitely be using it because um, it's quite powerful at least by the look of it um, so this is the end of uh, this video um, I'm Alistair Christie